Honestly, this isn't even outrageous anymore, it's just sad and pathetic. Well guys, this is it. This is officially my 200th video. Thank you all for the support during the last 3 years. I originally wanted to do a video called, The Flaws of TJ Masks. But apparently you guys really wanted me to do, How Nick Jr. Can Be Redeemed. But hey, I promised that I would make this video, so I might as well do it eventually. This shouldn't be a surprise to anyone, but Nick Jr. is one of, if not, the most popular kids brand in the world. It's been a staple of children's programming for decades. In fact, I'm pretty sure all of us has watched at least one Nick Jr. show. But as the years went on, it's became nothing but a brand full of terrible scheduling, horrible decisions, and just, corporate greed. But that's not what we're here to talk about. I already made a video going into depth of the dumpster fire that is modern Nick Jr. Plus, there are other videos on YouTube that explains the channel's decline way better than me, so go watch those instead. Anyways, we're gonna talk about how this channel can rise up to the top again. But before we get into that, let's talk about some good things about the channel. Firstly, the rebrand. Yeah, I actually really like it. It's colorful, it's simple, but not too simple to the point where it becomes boring. Like, say, the 2018 rebrand. And overall, it's just really cool looking. It's not better than the 2012 rebrand, but it's a change that the channel desperately needs. And the new logo is nice too. Some people say that they should have brought back the father and son logo from the 90s, and I kinda agree. But hey, it's better than nothing I guess. Also, I like how they brought back reruns of Dora the Explorer. I honestly don't understand why they got rid of it in the first place. Like, say what you want about it, but it's literally their most popular show. That's like if Nickelodeon stopped airing Spongebob, or if Fox stopped airing The Simpsons. But whatever, at least it's back now. Anything else? Um, I like how they still air Bubble Guppies and Team Umizoomi. And still have some good shows like Santiago of the Season Faces Music Party. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Alright, now let's get to the things that need desperate improvement. Starting off with the most obvious. We need less Paw Patrol. And I mean, a lot less Paw Patrol. I mean, look at this schedule. This is just nonsense. You know what, you probably thought I would never say this. But, if Paw Patrol is really that popular, they can go ahead and air it. Whatever brings them money. But Rubble and crew, yeah, sorry, you gotta go. No one asked for it, no one wants it, and no one likes it. So go ahead and cancel it. Now don't get me wrong people, I'm not saying Paw Patrol should air this much. Like, don't you think that the kids would get tired of watching it? Don't you think they'd want to watch something else every once in a while? Kids are not that stupid. Another way Nick Jr. can be redeemed is to make more good shows. Shows that are good for kids, but also entertaining for adults too. You can still make it simple, but still have a good execution. Bubble Guppies is a good example of this. The plot is ridiculously simple. It's literally just about a bunch of mermaid kids going to school and learning stuff. But the writers found a way to take this simple premise, and turn it into something that's both educational and entertaining. Plus, during the 2020s, Nick Jr. has shown that they can still make good shows. Also, a lot of people think that they should bring back the old shows. I personally disagree. They don't have to bring back the older shows. It would be great if they did, but they don't have to. They just need to have more variety. Speaking of which, they really need to improve their Nickelodeon block. Like, seriously, you might as well call it Paw Patrol on Nick. Also, they need to rename it back to Nick Jr. instead of just calling it Nickelodeon. And they also need to make a sign on and sign off for the block so kids can know when it's over. But do you guys want to know the ultimate way to improve Nick Jr.? You really want to know. They need to reboot the Backyardigans. Listen, I know I said they don't have to bring back the old shows, but hear me out. We live in a generation where reboots and revivals are becoming more popular than original ideas. And according to Google, the Backyardigans was praised by critics. And plus, they already made a Dora reboot, and a Blue's Clues revival. So what's stopping them from rebooting the Backyardigans? 
I'm telling you, if they made a Backyardigans revival, I will forgive every bad decision they've ever made. Do you know what's weird? Even after all the horrible decisions they made over the past decade. I still don't hate Nick Jr. The truth is, I don't want to hate Nick Jr. It's my childhood. And like I said, the early 2020s proved that they're still capable of making good shows. So the future of Nick Jr. can go two ways. Either they learn from their mistakes and become better. Or they could become even worse. Well, with 2023 coming to an end, we're about to find out. Anyways, that's it for this video. Let me know in the comments if you think Nick Jr. will improve. And until next time, party on.